So Marina, tell me, where are we now? Almeria. Almeria? Yes. And uh, this is one of the driest places in Europe? This is the only place in Europe that has a desert. With scorpions and black widows. The only place in Europe that has yeah. a desert? Yes. It does because feel kind of dry, I must admit. It's 20, about 27 degrees now. Lovely springtime temperatures. <laughs> springtime. <laughs> No, it's it's extraordinary dry. So we like. So another reason that we're here is we're going to see the Moorish. Um, Alcazamba. What? Say that again. Alcazamba. Say it again. Alcazamba. Okay. <laughs> and it's like a an old 11th, 12th century what fort? Fort. And it is the second best after. The uh, the one in uh, Seville. Okay, which no doubt we'll be seeing as well. The Alhambra. Okay. Now another good thing about this place, Marina, is it's not very well known on the tourist scene. So therefore, we're actually the only people speaking English. Well, I won't say that, but it is void of those annoying English people that usually come to Spain. No, no, but like be mom. honest. Good morning from Almeria. We are about to go and visit the Moorish fortress from around 11th or 12th century, I'm not sure. I uh, spent the night in a uh, car park, free of course. Oh, but you don't have a van anymore. How did you manage that? Keep watching. So, Let's go and see some history.
The acoustics are very spring reverb. What a mighty cannon you have there, McLeod. Let me stroke your cannon. Mm. The end of your cannon is so hard. So, Marina, quickly, for those uninitiated, just tell us quickly about the Moors and who the Moors were. Muslims. Today you would call them the Arab population. But actually these people, they call them the Nazari. So they came from the areas of uh, today's Syria, Jordan and Palestine. Because so the Israel wasn't so the, the So the, the sort of the empire, the Moorish empire occupied a good sort of portion of lower southern Spain, is that correct? Yes. And what did they bring to us? What, what, what is the legacy of the Moors for, for us Christians? Besides the architecture... Um, the, uh, when I said Christian, it didn't mean me, obviously. So, no, no, to the Western world. They're quite the Western world. So, first of all, architecture, art, mathematics. We count with Arabic numbers. Oh, God, we can't introduce Muslim culture in our schools. We already have. Better not tell the Americans that. Um, medicine, surgery, basic health care, as in water, getting washed. So Rose basically, while, while um, we were living in the Dark Ages, oh, well, no, they in were. Great Britain, Yeah. They were the first ones to introduce a possibility for a girl to uh, inherit the estate of her father. Let's uh, bust some myths in a couple of seconds. So, the reason why Muslims are allowed to marry more than one woman are just for a uh, protection of the woman. As in, in those times and days, there was no pensions, no nothing, right? So a woman who'd lose her husband would be uh, remarried by one of her brother-in-laws to assure that her kids and her would have a decent life. The Quran says that no wife can be treated in a different way, therefore she would have the same rights as the other wives. Unlike Christianity at the time, which made women subclass citizens. Exactly. Oh and, dear, they've got uh, a lot to answer for, these Muslims, haven't they Marina? Oh god, they have. <laughs> now, let's not ever Let's not ever consider Islam, ISIS, they're two completely different things. Uh, ISIS killed more Muslims than Christians. But going back to the, the things, one of the main things is um, health. Muslims, because of their gods, because of their gods, sorry, have to uh, wash five times a day before they pray. Now, Christians on the other side used to see water twice in their life. At birth, if, and at death, if. Because for Christians, washing yourself, so touching your body, was a great sin. Therefore, we were actually stinky bastards that these people would wash five times a day. <sighs> uh, there is another thing. You know the portable B-Day that I've got for us? That's yes, Muslim. Marina's got a portable B-Day. So That's she... Muslim. They carry it with them every time. She's always clean. And the reason why they don't use their left hand is because the left hand is for everything that goes Have you ever tried your, to wipe your ass with your left hand, if you're right-handed, Marina? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, thanks for that little, uh, little brief history lesson. I don't think people that have the beef with uh, Muslims will understand it, but it doesn't matter. No, because they're ignorant, aren't they, Marina? Ignorant. Yeah, because they're part of our history. 